Still teaming up to take down the NSA, journalists Glenn Greenwald and Jeremy Scahill have announced that they are working together to prepare a report on the National Security Agency's role in the so-called U.S. assassination program. Speaking to moviegoers at the Rio Film Festival in Brazil, Scahill announced the partnership and provided some details on the new project. However, neither Scahill nor Greenwald provided any evidence to support claims of the existence of the assassination programs or the NSA's role in it. So far, anyway. Two weeks later, the $250 million deal with Omidyar was announced and talk of the assassination program expose stopped. Three months later, no further details have been released about the story, and whether or not it will appear as one of the first big ventures on Omidyar's new news venture. More worrying still is Pierre Omidyar's role in this saga. That this billionaire co-founder of eBay is suddenly so concerned with the state of journalism that he is willing to drop a quarter of a billion dollars purchasing the services of the very man who is sitting on a trove of tens of thousands, or more, NSA documents is odd, especially considering that Omidyar's record on civil liberties and his network's connections to the NSA and Booz Allen Hamilton are enough to raise serious red flags about his new venture. As principal shareholder and chairman of eBay, Omidyar controls eBay's child company, PayPal. PayPal has recently made headlines for prosecuting the so-called PayPal 14, the hacktivists who staged a virtual sit-in in protest of PayPal's decision to cut off WikiLeaks funding by organizing a denial-of-service attack on PayPal's website. PayPal was co-founded by Max Levchin, a dedicated NSA supporter. So I can't speak for Silicon Valley because I actually have a slightly different view of, of that specific issue, largely having to do with my immigrant origins. I am probably uncharacteristically pro-national security agencies, writ large, and NSA in particular, Despite the fact that they would not hire me at some point, I actually wanted to work for the NSA, and I was not a U.S. citizen, and that sort of ended right there. Mm -hmm. But I really value my privacy, and I really value the government not knowing more than they absolutely must about me. But I also fundamentally believe that this country in particular so far has its citizenry's interests in mind that I just fundamentally trust the national security establishment to care about the citizens, to spy on the things that need spying. More worrying still, Sal Gambianco, one of the principal investment partners with the Omidyar Network, actually sits on the board of advisors of Globant, a software company in which the Omidyar Network and Booz Allen Hamilton, Snowden's former employer, are major shareholders. Philip Odin, one of the Booz Allen Hamilton board members, also sits on the board of directors of Globant. The Omidyar Network and Booz Allen Hamilton are also both major investors in Innocentive. Yet somehow none of these concerns are enough for Greenwald's most ardent supporters to even raise the question of how he is using his personal collection of leaked NSA files and who he is getting into bed with financially to do so. One truly independent media figure who has raised this question publicly in recent days is Sibel Edmonds of BoilingFrogsPost.com. In a recent series of articles, she has been reporting on the Greenwald